okay so now I'm going to clean up the final picture as you can see it's all nice and dry now all nice and warm to touch it's the best way of telling the plastic fluid is um, dry by uh, just touching it if it's warm to the touch then it should be nice and dry so you shouldn't rip your paper so I'm going to start clearing this up now and uh, this, is, this is the fun bit this is where the magic happens so you this one should clean up fairly well just using my fingers. And so if I start doing that, I'll just see how it goes. You can hear the um, salt being pulled off. Large area here. So let's see what we get. Always good fun to be able to pull it like that. I see it all coming off quite easily, this one. salt and the layers and it will all come up like that and peel that lovely bit off there and so most of it you can normally remove with your fingers like this the more salt you've got on it the more of a tendency it is to sort of rub at your fingers so it feels like you've been rubbing your fingers on sandpaper for a while but this one's not too bad because i'm not using an awful lot of salt this time and that's cleaned up pretty well first time now there are some bits where it hasn't quite come off so then i go in with this tool which is a scraper full tool i'll show you there you won't be able to see that hopefully you'll see that on the video and then that's really good for spots where you're You've got, if you, like me, use acrylic ink, it can pull and form large lumps and that's, this is just a perfect tool for getting those bits off and you can work in where it's um, caked on and get the point in. It's better than using a knife because I tend to find if you use a knife you're more likely to rip the paper and these are fairly easily available. They're not an expensive tool by any means, but it's worth getting when if you do a lot of masking and you're doing this sort of thing. Um, so that's cleaned up quite well. Normally they don't clean up quite as quickly, so it's quite good. You see where the ink's thicker, it's it's um, formed a barrier. Now I normally feel around because you can normally tell where the masking fluid's still there because you can feel it with your fingers. Now oh, there's a bit there, so I'm just going to use the tool up there a bit to get rid of that. There's a flag on the top of that building there. Detail there that needs cleaning up. Another thing I use, which can be really helping, helpful, is the uh, good old-fashioned putty rubber. And that's quite good, especially when you've 
forgotten where you put, put your masking fluid because you find the bits that you've forgotten about. earlier though this um, unfortunately masking fluids come off here before I started painting so this one probably won't work as nice and clean so I'm trying to find what I can do is just again go around with this red full tool and just scratch it out and it does clean up fairly well not quite as nice as if it was masked up ah, and you know what I was saying about not ripping occasionally if you get over enthusiastic like that that sort of thing happens. So I shall probably have to touch that up with a bit of ink and then that will uh, repair that bit. Uh, but I think, I think that's done. And that's how you clean up your picture.